Next part of the double wrist lock series, uh, we're going to go to the crooked head scissor. So we've already done the sweep, we've already gone to the uh, head scissor, and we've already gone to the Japanese arm bar, and now we're going to go to the crooked head scissor, which he loves. He doesn't. Same sweep, right? But it doesn't matter where you get this from. If you have this figure four or Kimura grip or double wrist lock, you can get to these positions, right? So we're just going to use this as the starting reference, right? So we're right here, and he starts to pass here. I come out, I sweep right here, I come up to this Japanese arm bar. Let's start from this spot, right? Let's move over. We were here, right? Pulling, doing all these different things. It's not working. What happens when you pull the arm? They come up, boom, I hit this, and they go to my leg scissors. Then they turn their head, and that's where we're at now. Okay? So I'm keeping this grip. Don't put your legs down here. There you go. So I'm keeping this grip for now. When he turns his head here, I'm going to bend my knee, and bend my knee, and I'm going to sit up. And when I sit up, this hand is going to go in through the foot into the floor, not only to help me get up, but to help me keep him in place so I can crank his neck. As soon as I get up, the neck crank happens automatically. So I go here, I go here, and I go here. All in one shot. All right. So Bill, you're just going to turn your legs towards this way. Just turn, turn, turn head to the head to the uh, yeah, this way. Boom. Okay. So, so we're in this position here. You see, he turns his head. I keep this figure four grip. I bend. When I'm doing this part, I'm not willy nilly. I'm pinching tight. Okay. I bend my knees. I'm pinching as tight as I can. I want his head to face that way the whole time. My hands go from here. I put my hand here, and then boom, and then right to here. So you see the, the motion of my legs. There's two different ways to do this. One, I can cross my legs this way, and I can go up on my toe, and I can lift and twist, okay? I think it takes too much energy, but it's a way to do it, right? This foot here, the, this foot goes over, and then I get up on my toe, my knees come up, and I twist my hips. That's one way. The way I like to do it is as I'm coming up here, I just take my leg like this. This way my entire hip can turn over here like this as I'm pinching, pinching, pinching and make his head twist up this way, okay? So from the same position right here, let me get my head, my leg on me, okay? We were here, he turned his head, I'm here, pinching my knees tight, tight, tight. This hand goes from the wrist, goes to here, come up, I punch the floor, okay? I come up and this just goes right here. I'm just gonna take this foot, and put it this way and turn all my whole body this way okay the other version is to cross i'm going to post on my hand post on my toes and then twist my hips two different versions for the crooked head scissor super high percentage it's a really awesome submission and it's very sneaky and fast so crooked head scissor from our double wrist lock series